Hey fam, thanks so much for coming back to I Love Me Me Me. So today I want to discuss just a few reasons that I found. Actually, these are not 100% mine. I did add my little twist and flavor to them. But um, I'm going to give you four reasons why it's better to get married in your 30s versus your 20s. So stay tuned. Right, fam thanks so much for coming back so just a correction i said four tips but i actually have five tips so okay the first tip is most of the time in your 20s for the most part unless you had some um money coming to you from your parents or maybe you run the won the lottery or something usually in your 20s you are not financially stable now this is the majority of where people are coming from for sure for sure so in your 20s you're still trying to figure it out basically in that struggle stage you're trying to figure it out financially you might have this might have been your first time where you're actually outside of the household so you're just trying to figure everything out by yourself and usually with that comes with you don't have as much education or experience and all of that leads to you not making as much money. So your finances is funny in your 20s for the most part. And you hear this all the time where the college students are always talking about how ramen noodles was their best friend. It's because they was poor in school. <laughs> okay. Most people that have money per se are not checking for ramen noodles. Now, am I dogging out ramen noodles? Of course not. I'm just saying that most people who are financially stable are are not checking for ramen. That's all I'm saying. So the first reason is, again, wrap it on up. In your 20s, you are not as financially stable as you are in your 30s. The second reason why it's better to marry in your 30s versus your 20s is because you barely know who you are in your 20s. Literally, most people have just left the nest and they are trying to come into knowing exactly who they are, knowing and owning who they are versus who your parents told you you should be, how you should act, what you should be doing, etc. And you also don't really understand nor have the experience of life as well as your love life. So um, you, you, you have not been in enough relationships to get the experience to know what you like to know what you want to know what you um to know even your worth for the most part a lot of us um have some scars from childhood and uh we don't know our worth in our 20s so we're we're especially your early 20s i mean don't get me wrong this is not across the board but the majority of people are still struggling with self-esteem issues in their 20s so the person that I was in my 20s, I am no longer that person now that I'm in my 40s. Like there was definitely some growth that took place in the 20 years that I'm discussing. OK, so I'm definitely a different and better version of the woman that I was when I first left home at the age of 18. And I have to say, I haven't even I never returned back home, back to the nest. But I know some people who actually either got out of school or maybe military or whatever it is and they needed to return back home. I just wasn't one of them, but I still didn't have an actual sense of who I was. So during that entire time, I was trying to figure it out. And that's where most people in their 20s are. They're trying to figure it out. They're trying to own who they are. And you have a better sense of who you are in your 30s. Okay, the third reason that you want to wait to get married in your 30s versus your 20s is because you actually you feel like you have missed out or I should say that a lot of people I heard this from because I got married my first marriage was in my 20s but I didn't feel this way but in any event most people actually feel like they are missing out on life whether it's um, experiencing multiple partners or maybe they wanted to travel more or maybe they just wanted to do their own thing they wanted to work on their goal and really go hard in the paint and if you're getting married early then you have this responsibility so this responsibility and a sense of loss when you get married earlier versus later on in life again it's taken away from some of the experiences that you could have attained if you just waited a few more years 
your money's going to be better. You're going to have a sense of who you are and you're actually not going to feel like you missed out on things on life. You are going to be ready to settle down a lot more in your 30s versus in your 20s. So the fourth one I've been talking about experiences this entire time. This one actually goes into all of that where you can basically choose a better partner or you have the potential to choose a better partner because you did get those experiences out of the way. You know exactly what you want. You know what you deserve. You know your worth. You know what you like, whether it's in the bedroom or out. You know that you don't want to deal with like a loud person or a nagging person or somebody that swears a lot, somebody that doesn't go to church or mosque or, you know, have have a spiritual background, somebody who doesn't want to have children or does want to have children. So you have a lot more information in your 30s versus your 20s. And the fifth and final reason for marrying in your 30s versus your 20s is marriage is actually supposed to be for a lifetime and there is no need to rush into it. There's just not. Again, I already listed several reasons why you should wait, you know, because you, the person that you fall in love with in your 20s usually is not the same person that you want to be with when you get to your 30s or 40s. You, you, you two usually end up growing apart. My relationship was no different. Again, are there exceptions to the rule of of course there are. You know, people meet their high school sweetheart and they are together forever. And I know several couples like that. But by and large, most people do not meet their soulmate <laughs> early on. They go through some experiences in life and then they are better to choose and assess if the person is a soulmate. Speaking of that, I definitely have another video coming up within the next couple of days. It is um, I actually heard this, so I will say I can't claim these um, tips that I will be giving in a few days, but I did think that they were very poignant and on point, and they definitely struck a chord with me, so I will be sharing them with you. It is a Christian aspect from it, and um, it is from a pastor, and I will definitely pass along that information when I release that video in a few days, so stay tuned for that one. And basically that video is um, five ways to understand or know if this person is your soulmate. Again, that is from a Christian aspect, but it resonated with me and I want to share it with you guys. Okay. Definitely give me thumbs up if you like this video and the content within it. Definitely let me know what you thought about the information in this video. Of course, in the comment section below. I will link my other video that I talked about um, dating in your 20s versus dating in your 30s. I actually have two. So one is about 20s and one is in your 30s. And I will definitely link both of those videos in the description box below. And of course, sometime somewhere up here at some point, they're going to be blinking with the little eye. Okay, I'm being dramatic. I will see you guys in a future video. Deuces.